You can use this on your hair, your skin. You can run you some hot water for a bath. Pour a few drops in there. Thank me later. Your skin gonna be so soft and you're gonna be relaxed. This right here is some good healing oil. I always joke with my granny and say, um, do, do she got, no, I tell her, like, we'll be talking, and then I'll be like, oh, you should have used your healing oil. Where your oil at? So, this right here is really, really good. I put that in my hair, and you know what I love about this? Not only is this a thick oil, like, my husband, he don't like this because he said it's too thick. But my hair, like, my hair is thick, so it's just, it just drinks up any and everything. So, thick oils um, does very well in my hair, but the smell lingers all freaking day. That's what I love. So I had put that all through my hair, and then um, you see, like it, I had it all that foam everywhere, but it's drying up. And then um, I'm gonna go get my edge brush and just brush this. But today I'm coming to you in the house coat. This house coat is so warm and comfy, but I'm getting ready for work because I have to be to work. Early today, I opened, and I was up last night. I should have vlogged last night. I was up late because I was studying. So, I'm going to do that when I get to work. But let me tell you guys something right quick, right? So, a lot of folks are not as thankful as they should be. So, hear me out. I feel like this. I feel like what is for you is going to be for you, right? So if you went out for that job and you didn't get it right then and there, you know, don't feel like, oh, I'm such a failure. Think about it as, okay, maybe that wasn't for me because God has something else better in store. You know, a lot of people are losing their faith. Times are hard. You know, the economy is going crazy. The um, flushing with the prices has went skyrocket like it's 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 freaking ridiculous okay so keep the faith so i'm in the emergency room again because i don't know if you guys can hear me i'm like whispering but i have like these limb nodes under my arm that they keep becoming swollen and i just got a drain and now it's back and they told me that i need to meet with a surgeon to get them removed so i don't know what i'm supposed to do now like i have class in a little bit so i just want to come and check in with you guys this is where i'm at right now so i'll let you guys know what happened after this so this is how we look this is whole area right here and then you see my skin is the color this color so so she just left like verify my insurance and my copay is 150. I thought it was 50. So she's like, um, how you like how do you want to pay? I have cash. So I was gonna do cash and card. Like can I do cash and card? And she's like, Oh, we don't prefer cash. But it's a pain. Yeah, thank you. So she kept asking me, like, Are you sure you wanna put it on your card? Are you sure? And I'm like, Lady, take the damn card. Like um, she asked me all like all these like random questions and I just was here and all my stuff is on file and um she's like well who's the primary I'm like lady take the insurance card and do what you gotta do and then on the other side like my husband's information is right there so she had me write out all his information and right on the other side of the paper is right there so I was like, all right, I said, so you're not going to take my cash? She's like, we prefer not to take cash, but it's a pain. So, yeah, I went from her to bring my car back with my receipt. So, that's just the update I want to give you guys. <sighs> Y'all, this place is like, I never heard of that before. Like, you don't want to take my cash. A payment is a payment. What if I had $150 in nickels? Do you want to take it? All right, you guys, so I'm leaving. Let me tell y'all something. So I'm sitting over there minding my business. 
and all I hear is, I'm so sick of this, I'm so sick of this. I'm like, what is going on? So they telling the lady, please calm down. She's like, get the off of me, y'all. And so, what is that on my forehead? Hold on. What is it? So, the lady across from me, like that's so that's another thing. Like I don't I don't like like when y'all when you so loud you can hear other people personal business. But they was like, um, hold on, they was like, yeah, you do have strip. Came back in strip throat, and she was like, I just had strip throat, and so y'all. They said she had strip though, and she said that she's gonna go get her son tested because you know your kids be under you. So then that happened. Oh, I'm getting the car is hot. So once after that happened, damn, I need some gas. Hold on, I got my purse on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, like my drawers. Which way I go? I think I go out there. I don't know, but. So, yes, yeah, she, she was saying that. So I'm still waiting. Then this lady, they put another lady across from me. And guess what? This lady got stripped on too. I say, Lord have mercy, what is going on? This lady got stripped on too. Two people sit right across from me. Like, we got like these little cover things or whatever. So I was sitting there, I don't know how long I was sitting there. It's 12 o'clock right, right now, so I'm gonna be able to make it to class, but y'all, I have to call the surgeon because I have to have surgery. And I just had damn surgery six weeks ago, but it's gonna keep occurring, so I have to have surgery. And then she also told me to follow up with my primary just so she can be in the loop and everything. And it's just crazy because, so basically what it is, it's not even a boil, it's an abscess. And um, it keeps reoccurring. It has nothing to do with hygiene. It has nothing to do with shaving, uh, like shaving it, you know. It's like my lymph nodes or the problem. And I have to get those surgically removed. Once I get those surgically removed, I will be okay as in not having these problems. It's not under my left arm. It's under my right arm. And so what happened is when it get And so like, like if you get a boil or something, it's like this, right? What's under my arm is like this. And um, when the pain comes and the bigger it gets, it actually pulls my arm. Like it pulls like the muscles in my arm is super, super uncomfortable but um yeah and then i have another prescription for antibiotics i am so sick of taking antibiotics i do not know what to do like this is my four sets of freaking antibiotics and so she gave me this one and i have to take this one three times a day for 10 days so with me being on antibiotics like when you're on antibiotics back to back to back like you um you can have problems like with your gut and she was also telling me that um, with females being on antibiotics back to back like that, like it's a possibility of a yeast infection. And I say, oh what? And girl, I mean y'all, I'm just like, so I gotta get some probiotics. And then um, she was telling me, she was like, what a lot of people don't know is when you take antibiotics, you are very, very fertile. Like you can get pregnant. And I'm just like, I'm just, I'm so over it. Like, I'm so frustrated. Like, I really just don't want to go to class right now because it's just so much. It's so much. My arm is, like, killing me. It's just so much stuff, y'all. So, I need to get some gas. It's just. It's just so much. But that is the update. Because right before they came in, I had got an alert from my pharmacist saying that they got a prescription for me. But she wants me to follow up with my, um. She wants me to follow up with my uh, primary in two days. Because she was like, uh, it's no point in you going today because, you know, we're giving you the medicine. But do follow up with her in two days. I, I, I have to follow up with this surgeon. She told me to check my insurance and see um, if it's a surgeon that they prefer. But, yeah. I'm about to get some gas. I'm going to play. So I'll check back with you guys. You got 24 seconds. Can you beat the shot?
you guys. So it's so spicy out here. Like my phone is already falling out. But I am joining some clubs on campus. I'm joining the um BSA, which is the Black Student Association. And I'm also joining two nurses. Uh, hold on, y'all. Y'all know I gotta unload my stuff. My husband told me to stop doing it. Stop. Y'all look. If you can see, I'm stuck. Hold on. Where is Lori? Why do I always do this? Okay, so yeah, I'm joining, well, I'm planning to join three clubs on campus, and um, they really didn't have that much information, but I emailed the leaders of it, or the people that created it, and one of them got back to me, like, soon, soon after I emailed her, so I'm just waiting to hear back from the other two so right now girl why did i why i got this open it's hot right now i'm about to go pick up my medicine and get some probiotics and then after that i'm going to work on my sociology homework i just need to do a discussion question which so in order to do the discussion question it's like a video that you have to watch and basically with the video is saying um, what are the pros and cons of being married and what are the pros and cons of being single so it's a video that comes with that it's like 40 minutes so I need to watch that and then I need to put my perspective of it so today has been a long crazy day lady girl what you doing Y'all, this lady is stuck. You see that? She's stuck. It's nothing coming. Nobody was coming at first. She's stuck. But anyway, I'm about to do that. So, and I need some gas. But I got 66 miles into empty. So, let's go uh, pick up this medicine. And then I'm going to show you guys some probiotics that they recommend. Can we get it together? Alright you guys, so I was trying to show y'all that it says for me to take Hold on, I'm trying to make sure it don't have no Hold on y'all So this says to take 2 in the morning, 2 midday, and 2 at night That's 6 pills a day Seriously, seriously I just showed y'all that I have to take 6 of those pills a day And then I had got these probiotics Hold on let me put y'all. Okay, hopefully it don't fall. Alright, so I had got these right here. So these are the women's probiotic plus biotic gummies with cranberry. Um I got these because I told y'all why um she recommended I take these. And this these things are so expensive. And these are the CVS brand. These came out to be like it was like 20 something, but then I had a coupon. So I think I had two coupons, so it came out to be $6. So I'm happy about that. Like I said, today has been crazy. I have, but I brought y'all with me. So yeah, today has just been an up and down day. Oh, is the sun, it's, it's giving me, it's giving me what I need. It's giving me what I need. But I'm about to get ready to go home. My baby should be getting off the bus by now. So, I think I'm going to just close the vlog. I think that's it. 
tomorrow I gotta work but um, like I said I'm just going to do my sociology homework and I think that's I think that's it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um, I am putting my new intro in this video like I've been working on like editing and everything like that so I hope you guys like my new intro and outro yeah I'm gonna I'm try to do it because I did it on my laptop and I'm gonna try to like merge it into here so yeah that's it you guys as always thank you so much for liking don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time